Will you kill someone you love because you love them? What's up everybody, Sense here, and today I am doing an anime review on Ga Re Zero. So I was back on the interwebs and I was searching for another anime to watch, but this time after watching A Slice of Life, I kind of wanted something different, something with like some monsters and stuff to kind of regain my um, sanity, I guess. So this one was very interesting. I'm going to read a brief description of what this is about and then tell you how I feel if this was accurate or not. So it says, in Japan, there exists a government agency known as the Supernatural Disaster Countermeasure Division. Holy shit, that is a long name, but you can call it SDCD for short. Whose duty is to protect the citizens from countermeasures unseen, which they're talking about lots of different ghosts and all of that fun stuff. They're able to dispatch these monsters swiftly and without alerting the general public, which is bullshit and a lie. But currently, they face a different challenge, the betrayal of one of their own. And that, my friends, is kind of what intrigued me into this anime. So I'm not gonna lie, right when you push play from episode one, it uh, really kind of pulls you in. There's a lot of action, there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of questions, and... Unfortunately, it just gets more confusing after episode one. So that was uh, that was interesting, I guess, in a way. I was like, okay, cool. Because like, when you watch episode one, you're going to have a preconceived notion of what it's going to be about. And then when you watch episode two, you're going to be like, lol's what? And then episode three is like, wait, what the fuck's going on here? So because of how I felt that uh, it was badly portrayed, I'm going to kind of confuse you to kind of set you straight to let you know what this is actually about. Um, because some of you are going to be watching it like, wait, is this a flashback? You know, when are we going back to the main story? So here I'm just going to set everything straight. This st actual story revolves around this young girl, which you will see early on, and her journey through life kind of. And um, so what happened was she went and stayed with this girl because her mother got killed. And thus, the story starts kind of really there, and it will tell you the story all the way up until the points that you're seeing, because it starts kind of at the end first, and then goes back and tells the story leading up to this point. So that's what you're going to kind of watch, and then, weirdly enough, it will mix back into what you were seeing in, in episode one, and I think a little bit in two. So hopefully that kind of helps you out. So aside from my thoughts, and honestly, this was a good anime. It has a pretty high score on uh, a lot of the famous anime listing sites, and honestly, I see why because this is kind of this is like a uh, this is an original story. I feel, and um, even though this is an older anime, uh, the artwork, in my opinion, still stands. Um, the story is a little weird at points but honestly it wasn't enough to deter me from watching it nor did it really affect me in any way i just wish that they could have shuffled some things around like the uh beginning i wish they would have shuffled around and i think the um the part where they go back from because that's fine if they want to tell the you know show the ending first then go back tell the story but then when it mixes back into the reality part of it, like, you know, back to where you were supposed to be, um, the whole transition between the past and the present, I guess, in it was a little off. I don't know how to explain that part, but that part was a little weird. I, th I think that uh, the transitioning could have been a little better. But honestly, overall, it was worth the watch. And I do recommend that for those who are into this style. Hey guys, if you really enjoyed my content, please head over to my profile, and if you haven't already, click on that sub button, but then also click on that little bell. That bell will notify you anytime I post up a video, so that way you can always be kept up to date. Thank you guys so much for watching, I had a lot of fun making this video. Also, don't forget to check me out over on facebook.com forward slash and my discord. Come check out my discord, links are in the description. 
So I have a lot of cool stuff over there, like, you know, anime bots, you can set up alerts, and all this other fun stuff, so come check us out. But, like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.